Alright, welcome back to another episode of Dave Makes Food. Today I'll be showing you one of my favorite ways to prepare eggplant. We'll begin by removing the top part of the eggplant and then cutting it into sections on a rolling bias about an inch and a half long. This is one pound of eggplant. Transfer everything to a bowl and fill it with water. Use a plate to keep everything submerged then put it aside for 20 to 30 minutes. This will help prevent the eggplant from absorbing too much oil and becoming greasy when cooking later. While that happens, we can chop the rest of our stir-fry ingredients. Starting with 20 grams of garlic. Cut the cloves into 3 or 4 pieces. Personally, I think the aromatics work better when left in large pieces for stir-fries. Next, we'll cut 25 grams of ginger into small slices. And finally, we'll cut 30 grams of green onion, separating the white and light green parts from the darker parts. Cut the light parts thinly on a bias. And cut the darker parts into sections about an inch and a half long. Next, we'll make the stir-fry sauce, consisting of 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of rice wine, 1 teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of white pepper, and 1 tablespoon of chicken stock. Mix well, taste, and adjust seasoning if necessary. Okay, cooking time. Drain the eggplant and add them to a pan over medium-high heat. Then add about 4 tablespoons of water, cover them, and steam for 5 minutes. This is the best way to cook eggplant through without having it become greasy in my opinion. At this point we can turn the heat to maximum and begin to stir fry. There should be no water left in the pan. Move the eggplant aside and add 2 tablespoons of oil to the empty side of the pan. Then add in the ginger, garlic, lower part of the onion, as well as 1 tablespoon of fermented black beans. Stir fry for 2-3 to three minutes until fragrant and the edges are beginning to brown. Then we can go ahead and add in the sauce. Stir fry for another 2-3 to three minutes. Then add in the green onion tops and stir fry for 2 more minutes. Once all the liquid has thickened and coated the eggplant, you can start to develop some charred flavor. This adds another element of flavor to your already flavor-packed stir-fry. Serve immediately. And that's how you make my stir-fried eggplant with black beans. This is probably my favorite eggplant preparation. If you steam and fry it correctly, the inside should be creamy and tender while the outside is slightly charred and rich with flavor. Everything should be coated in the salty, slightly sweet, and umami rich sauce. The garlic and ginger provide a nice contrast with their bursts of floral fragrance. I hope you give this recipe a try, it's relatively quick, easy, and most importantly delicious. I also hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like and subscribe if you did, it would really help me out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another recipe.